from Hollywood Foundry, a new take on an old favourite, the spring belt drive. While the concept is the same as the old spring belt drive, the Diablo is a far superior truck, utilising a synthetic rubber drive belt rather than the old spring belt, and it employs real brass bearings and four tiny stainless steel ball racers to provide a level of performance unmatched by other drives. Add to that a flexible mounting system that allows ride height control and the simplest drive connection yet. And you have what we believe is our best drive to date. Let's take a look at the Diablo from the ground up. We start with two steel axles. Add two precision cut brass worm gears, then four brass axle bearings. Now, four solid nickel silver wheels. We don't use plated wheels. All our wheels are machined from solid nickel silver bar stock. The wheels can be supplied, insulated or not, according to your preferences. Then we place a lay shaft made from induction hardened silver steel. Fit to the shaft, the brass Diablo shaped pulley. And cradle the shaft in two tiny precision ball racers made from stainless steel. Then add two steel worms to complete the lower drive train. All this is then held in place by the etched brass main frame. All brass etches are made from heavy duty 0.7 millimeter or 28 thou material. A bottom keeper plate is then fitted to hold the axles in place and provide a fixing point for side frames. Now the lower pulley cradle is fitted to hold the lay shaft in correct alignment and screwed in place. Next we screw a solder tag in place for power collection, followed by the optional phosphor bronze pickup for two rail operation, complete with its pre-fitted and soldered wire. The bogey pivot rail is now added, along with its Delrin bearing and insulators. On top of the rail goes the support for the upper drive assembly and the upper pulley cradle. Add a drive shaft of generous length, again made from induction hardened silver steel. With its Diablo shaped brass pulley, supported by two more stainless steel ball racers, and a synthetic rubber drive belt to couple the upper and lower drive trains. We also pack a spare for this drive belt, in case you ever need it. However, we're betting you won't need it as the belts last almost forever. To mount the Diablo, we fit optional packing washers to set up the ride height. You can select the number of washers to set your desired height. The mounting frame is then fitted, although you may choose to incorporate this in your model's floor. Finally, fix the mounting frame with screws. And there, you have a complete Diablo. In order to keep costs down, the Diablo comes as a kit. The kit contains everything you need to assemble the trucks, no soldering is required, everything screws together with the supplied screws, and we even give you spare screws in case any get lost. Comprehensive and detailed instructions are included with every kit, and you can even download a PDF of the instruction from our website before you purchase to see how it's assembled. A number of simple tools are all that is required to assemble the kit and it should not take more than a half an hour to complete. Here is a video of the assembly. We sped it up a bit, but you can download the real-time version from our website if you would like to watch it at your leisure. The Diablo is made in an increasing number of wheelbases, not one size fits all, as with other trolley drives. The smallest will start at four foot nine inches and go up in three inch increments up to nine feet. We don't have all sizes available just yet. Demand will dictate when new sizes are added. Special wheelbase sizes can be accommodated for manufacturers wanting to incorporate the drive in their production models. You have a choice of seven wheel sizes and can have insulated wheels for two rail operation or uninsulated wheels for trolley wire operation. The mounting hole for the Diablo is a simple square hole around 5 8 of an inch square plus two screw holes. It's possible to have heavy duty brass floors made to accept the Diablo, either as two drive trucks or one plus trailing truck. 
and we offer a service to manufacturers to design the brass floor and have it produced, at cost, by our etching service. The Diablo can be used to power both trucks in electric locomotives and is also ideally suited to powering larger inter-urban models or electric multiple unit models. The drive is quite low in profile and can sit below the window line in many models. To complement the Diablo, we can also supply a low-cost trailing truck fitted with machined brass pinpoint bearings and pinpoint axles. The wheels are held in a skeletal frame that can hide behind car side frames. This truck is called Lightning because of its tendency to roll off the table at high speed if left unattended. Lightning also has an adjustable ride height arrangement like Diablo and also comes as a kit. So simple to assemble you can put it together inside five minutes. And to power the Diablo we have a choice of Mishima motors in six sizes complete with heavy brass flywheel and resilient rubber mounting pad. Or you can simply supply your own motor if you wish, as a section of silicon tubing is supplied with each Diablo kit to couple it to the motor. In order to demonstrate the Diablo and Lightning, we fitted them to an unpowered model of a Melbourne W-Class tram made by Kui Concepts. This is a 00 scale or 4mm to the foot scale model and is slightly larger than an HO model. We cut away part of the seats and fitted the motor to the floor. The motor is a Mishima 1624 with heavy flywheel fitted. An important feature of the Diablo is that, unlike the Bowser drive, the top part of the drive tower is fixed and does not rotate. Therefore, a simple silicon rubber tube can be used to couple the motor to the truck. The original plastic side frames are simply glued to the tabs provided on the side of the trucks. This model is wired for two rail DC operation, but can easily be wired for overhead power collection or DCC operation. To test the model and demonstrate its running qualities, we built a really nasty torture track. All curves on the test track are five and a half inch radius, and just to make it tougher, we've added two reverse curves as well. To give you an idea of the size of the track and the curve radius, here are two Bowser PCCs which are just over 6 inches in length. While we're here, let's run one of the PCCs around the test track. Never mind, let's try that again. Uh oh, looks like the Bowser can't get past the first curve. We'll try the Melbourne tram with the Diablo instead. Watch how the model runs at full speed around the track without a sign of derailing. And in contrast, can also do the same at very low speed. At this speed, the model is absolutely silent. With a DCC decoder fitted, the model is able to creep along with barely perceptible movement. The Diablo drive from Hollywood Foundry, a quality drive mechanism for trams, trolleys, and into urban models. Available now.